Hey, Jennifer, it's so nice to see you. Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, where you're from and your business? Thank you, Tina. Thanks so much for having me. Um, I'd be happy to tell you a little bit about myself. So I live and work in the DC metro area, but I'm actually from California. I've been out here off and on for the past 20 years, came to the area to go to law school and had about a 15 year run as an attorney here. Um, and now um, I'm in my second career of real estate and um, loving every minute of it. I bet. I bet. So tell me more about your area, like in the customers that you serve. You're mostly Northern Virginia. Is that right? That is correct. So I do serve Northern Virginia and Washington, D.C., but just for simplicity, I'm happy to focus on Northern Virginia with you today. <laughs> Um, I'll start with where I live in Northern Virginia. Okay. Um, I live in the town of Great Falls. Mm -hmm. It is a lovely little hamlet, so to speak, along the Potomac River. Um, we have um, larger lots. It's a more rural setting. Um, for example, I live on a 1.75 acre lot and um we're kind of centered around a small village, town centers um, with a green, and we have lots of community events there. It really feels like a small town. Um, everything from 4th of July, summer concerts. Actually, this past year, I was um, one of the judges for our uh, 4th of July parade, and I got to award one of the winners their trophy. It's really oh, it's that kind of small town vibe that I love so much. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's Great Falls in a nutshell. I mean, homes in Great Falls can start anywhere near the 900,000 and can go up to, I mean, I think the highest price point I've seen publicly um, published sale is about maybe around 14, 15 million. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, the average uh, home sales in the like around one five one six is okay. probably the average home price in Great Falls. Um, Great so Falls. It, it is really a lovely area. Um, and right border in Great Falls is another area I serve McLean. Mm -hmm. um, if you want, um, I recently sold a home in McLean. Um, I can kind of show you that home. And um, if you want to play that. Um, yeah. but, uh, is that, that the one in Charleston? Yes, that's the one okay. on Tolston. So um, with that particular home, you know, it is beautiful estate on two acres. It's basically got every amenity you can imagine. It's got beautiful resort style pool. It's got movie theater, wine cellar. It's about, I think it's, a, I think it was 12,000 um, square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, so this home, because of where it sits, feels like it's away from it all. But if you were to drive five miles north, okay. So here's an example of a home in McLean. Uh, it it recently sold just last week for three point four million. Um, this particular um, home, as I was mentioning, is about uh, if you go five miles north, you come across this sweet little wine shop. Um, that is actually has a menu curated by a Michelin star chef. Wow. If you go five miles in the other direction, you are in Tyson's Corner, which has world-class shopping and dining and even mm -hmm. entertainment with the Capital One Center there. They have like traveling um, art performances. Uh, and, um, and then if you drive five miles in another direction, then you're going to come across uh, Great Falls National Park, which is a beautiful area uh, where you can walk along the Potomac and see waterfalls. Um, so it's it's really uh, such a great place to live, even though you feel like you're away from it all in this home and you have it all in this home, just a short drive to civilization or nature. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's or kind of <laughs> what you get in McLean, Virginia. And then you're just another 20 minutes, you're in DC. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very convenient. Um, and basically you can have whatever lifestyle you're looking for out mm -hmm. there. What an incredible property. Yeah. So should yeah. we put the other one on Tolston too? 
So the other one on Tolston, this is a fun one um, if you want to look at that. So if you click a couple um, photos over, um, if you go to like the third or the fourth photo, what makes this oh. property so fun <laughs> is it was actually designed to be a replica of the White House. <laughs> amazing. So you can see that there. Mm -hmm. I know. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So and inside it is spectacular. It's so beautifully done, very modern, um, but very tasteful, uh, beautiful, beautiful home. And this particular home is for rent. Wow. Uh, yeah. And it so, rents fully furnished, but okay. it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. So what are the price points like on a rental like that? So this particular one is uh twenty six thousand five hundred a month. Okay. And that's believe it or not, I have a rental that's even more expensive than this one. Do you <laughs> get that one? <laughs> is that this one? The video. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Is that it? No, that's that's Tolston that just sold. If you go to Peacock Station on the end, that should be it. Okay. Yeah. This well, one. Turn yeah. The sound off. Yeah. So, th so this home is 20,000 square feet. It's on two acres, has gorgeous landscaping, beautiful pool in the back. Again, it has every amenity. It's got its wine cellar, gym, spa, uh, also movie, movie theater. It's got it all. But what's incredible about this home really is the millwork. And I always tell people, look up, it's the ceilings. So, you know, as this video kind of progresses, you'll see the ceilings a little bit here and there, but it is truly, truly one of the most spectacular homes I've ever represented. Can you believe that's the kitchen? No, it's, <laughs> kind, of, it's kind of incredible. Yeah. Not often um, you see a chandelier in a kitchen like that. Right. Or a ceiling in a kitchen like that. Right. Yeah, so, exactly. um, exactly. yeah, this one runs for 38,500. Um, these are not your typical rentals in our area. However, see, here's another ceiling in the office. It's just exquisite. And this bedroom ceiling, can you imagine? When was so this beautiful. house built? Was Is this a modern house or is this more of a historic home? Yeah, this people? house was built in 2015-16 wow. time frame. Um, it actually was on the market for a little bit. Um, my clients purchased it in 2020 mm -hmm. and um yeah so they are they are open to renting it it is not for sale mm -hmm. uh, but they are open to renting it they don't want when you get something like this you don't really want to let it go yes um, I imagine but yeah so so this one is really fantastic i mean rents in our area are typically you know, anywhere from 4,000 to maybe pushing 10,000. So these two rentals are are a little bit more on the higher end. Obviously this, <laughs> this particular one is actually, um, the, mo it will be the most expensive home ever rented once we get our tenant. So, wow. but the other one was already rented previously at the 26,500, the replica of the white house. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing property. So we have we have some fun properties here in the DC metro I know, area. I love the character. Yeah. It's just, you know, you have so much. So in your area, is it mostly people that are there full-time? Are there also condos? I know you talked a lot about single family. So one thing that's interesting about Great Falls is there are no condos and no townhomes oh, in all wow. of Great Falls. McLean has it all. It has mm -hmm. townhomes, condos, you you name it, they have it. Um, because they're they're a little closer in um mm -hmm. different town. Um, another area I represent, Arlington, Virginia, also has all of those things. I think most of our residents are here full time, mm -hmm. but there are quite a few who will dip in and out of DC. You know, we're a company town, yeah. seat of government is here, capital city, um, you know, is within 30 minutes from the places I'm describing. If we're talking Arlington, Virginia, it's even closer. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the people that live there often work in D DC, but not always. Um, we also have a, a technology corridor right outside of these areas over in Ashburn, Virginia. We have a lot of people working there. Um, we've got the Amazon headquarters, the HQ2 mm -hmm. that they're 
building right now in Arlington. So we have a lot of people from there. We have Boeing headquarters, Capital One, Freddie Mac, you name it. We have a lot of um, corporate headquarters here, all because we have the seat of government here. So we do have a lot of people who come here and stay here, but there are also people who are here for a few years and then leave. Um, I work with a lot of people who are in these rotational positions with government, whether they're mm-hmm. in the foreign service or secret service. I work with a lot of secret service agents, um, FBI, people in the intelligence community, mm-hmm. military. A lot of them are on these rotational assignments where they'll be here for, you know, three to five years. Yeah. They do want to purchase a home. A lot of them get veteran benefits and it, it makes a lot of sense to purchase a home, even if they're mm-hmm. not living here for a long time. Um, and then they'll either rent out the home when they leave or they'll sell it when they leave. Um, and so, cause they might come back, so they might mm-hmm. want to keep it. So we have a lot of people like that as well. Incredible. So then you do work with a lot of veterans. That's interesting. Absolutely do. And mm-hmm. I've been lucky enough, I guess we'll say, to um, help some veterans navigate through the assumption process, which is a new um, thing that we're seeing now because of the fluctuating rates. Um, It was a benefit that um, veterans really didn't have the opportunity to take advantage. But what an assumption is, is that if you are a veteran selling your home, you can let the buyer assume your loan and also assume your rates. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So they would down your loan and then they get the benefit. So I had clients who purchased a home and they got a 2.25 rate. I think that was a little over a year ago. They had a job change, didn't expect that to happen, but they were able to sell it just a few months ago to somebody for that 2.25 rate. Um, so the buyer was thrilled, obviously, I'm sure. <laughs> in this market to get to get yeah. home at that rate. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. incredible. So I've I've developed a, an expertise in those because nice. I do work with so many veterans, and it's mm-hmm. it's a a great um, benefit to have in this particular market for sure. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I'm so glad we connected and I'm so, uh, so happy to hear more about your area. I just, Virginia is so beautiful and um, you're so fortunate to work there. I, I really do feel lucky. I do want to say I didn't touch on this that much because I kind of talked about the more rural part, but really, if you want a city experience all the way down to the remote part of the country, you can <laughs> find that here in Northern Virginia and D.C. Definitely. Definitely. Well, thank you, Jennifer. And thank you so much for um, coming on. This was just so fun. Thank you for having me. It's been so great chatting with you. Definitely. All right. Take care.